in this section we'll talk about osp of v3 protocol like if you remember in case of ip version 4 we have some osp of protocol we call it as osp of v2 now, osp of v2 is a protocol which is designed for ip version 4 implementations now when it comes to ip version 6 we have something called osp of version 3 now the concept of osp of v3 is exactly the same as osp of version 2 like if you, if you take the concept of areas dividing the areas area 0 should be at the backbone or if you take any other designing uh, designing considerations or if you take any advanced OSP of configurations like virtual links, summarizations or OSP of stops concept. So technology wise, both the protocols are exactly similar. Now, based on the OSP, OSP of V2, we have some enhancements where it is going to distribute the IPv6 prefixes and it is going to run completely over IP version 6. Apart from that, you have some extra specific attributes added to this is it's a 128 bit address and it supports a link local addresses and also we can have some multiple addresses on the same interface which is not uh, possible in case of IP version 4 and we can also have some multiple instances of OSP of running on the same interface and then authentication OSP of v3 also supports authentication just like v2 supports but here we have IPsec authentication now if you remember in case of OSP of v2 we have it supports clear text authentication as well as it supports MD5 authentication. We have some something called IPsec inbuilt authentication method here. And then OSPF runs over a link rather than running on a specific subnet. Now which means we are going to run the OSPF directly under the interface not on the subnet which means we don't use network commands here. Instead we enable the protocol under the interface just like we did in a previous section in RIP. So let us try to get into the configurations, what what configurations we need to do if you want to configure OSP of V3. So I'm going to take some routers, very basic configuration here you can see. I got my router here, I got two routers, the same two routers which I used in my previous labs. And I just designed them in different areas. Now the concept of areas is exactly the same, area 0 should be at the center and any non-backbone area connecting must connect to area 0 in order to exchange the routes between them. Now here also what I did, I, I configured the router 1 LAN interface in area 10 and the router 1 WAN interface in area 0 and similar way the router 2 all both the interfaces belong to area 10. Now if, if we are doing the same thing in IP version 4, we generally go to router OSP of 1, this is the command which we use to enable the protocol and then we generally configure the router ID, some add router ID. So the router ID concept is exactly the same in IP version 6 also, we'll see that. And then if you want to advertise any network, we generally say network, whatever the network and then whatever the wildcard mask we need to give. And then we have to give area and area ID, nothing but area number. This is what we do in OSP of V2, nothing but IP version 4 OSP of protocol. In case of IP version 6 OSP of, that is OSP of V3, we got similar kind of commands, but there's a difference here. Now we need to know the new commands, what how we use how we configure OSP of v3 in IP version 6. So the first command we need to go to config mode just like we do router OSP of 1 here also we need to use IPv6 router OSP of 1. Now this command is more equivalent to this command. So here we just give router OSP of 1. In case of IP version 6 we need to give IPv6 router OSP of 1 and then once you give this you go to the router mode. Here also we get into the router mode. Now inside the router mode, again, here also we have a concept of router ID. And that router ID has to be given in the IP version 4 format only. Now this is something uh, we need to remember here because normally if we take about routing concept, router ID concept in IP OSPF, in IP version 4, by default router ID can be given manually, that is the first thing in case by using a route ready command in case if you do not configure the route ready manually then it is going to take the highest ip address that is ipv4 address of the loopback interface if you have if you have multiple loopback interfaces it's going to take any any of the loopback highest loopback as a route ready and in case if you do not have a manual route ready and there is no loopback interface it's going to take the highest ipv4 address of the physical interface now in case of IP version 6, that is in OSP of V3, the concept of router is also same. 
it still uses the IP version 4 address which means even though we are using IP version 6 OSPO but the router ID just identifies a name so it doesn't make difference whether you are using IPv6 or IPv4 but still if you use question mark after this you will see the router ID must be in IP version 4 format only and the concept of router ID is exactly the same what we have learned in IP version 4. So this is something uh, we need to remember and then once you get back exit command, exit command will take you again back to the configuration mode now to advertise the interfaces. Now in our scenario I want to configure OSPF on router 1 on the LAN interface F0 by 0 so I need to go to the F0 by 0 interface so I'll be in the interface mode now inside the interface mode this config if mode we need to give a command called IPv6 OSP of 1 because I'm using process ID 1 here and then we need to define this specific interface will be advertised in which area as per the diagram it has to be area 10 that's it so now this command is more equivalent to your network command that's what if you remember in the previous slide I discussed that OSP of v3 runs over a link not rather than running on a subnet so here we are not advertising on the subnet but instead we are going to run that specific protocol under the interface under the link so that when whenever you configure this command automatically whatever the ipv6 addresses configured under this interface will be advertised automatically in area 10. now similar way what is the other interface we are using interface s1 by 0 the second interface interface s1 by 0 we need to say ipv6 osp of 1 and then area what is the area we we are supposed to advertise as per the diagram it has to be in area 0 so we need to change the area number now if you see the configuration of ip version 6 osp of that is osp of v3 it is it is it is something new uh, because the router id concept is still the same the way we advertise is totally different but when it comes to a technology like the designing in the areas or any any of the uh, specifications like it's a dis uh, link state protocol uh, it's the same features what we have learned in IP IP version 4 OSPF let us try to quickly implement this lab and verify on the router 1 and router 2 so I got my routers pre-configured with IPv6 address if you if you just check back I can see here router F0 by 0 is configured with FC0011 exactly the same and S1 by 0 is pre-configured with IPv6 addresses and if I give show IPv6 protocols just to verify whether I am running any other routing protocol or not I am not running any of the routing protocol so in case if you are continuing with our previous topic which we discussed IP version 6 RIP RIP NG now probably you need to remove that RIP protocol before you move on with OESPF so here I just started my topology so there is no routing protocol running on router 1 let me just confirm on the router to as well you can see show IPv6 protocols I don't have any of the routing protocol running here so on the router one I want to give show IPv6 unicast routing because the routing I didn't enable so I'm just starting my devices for the first time after assigning the IPv6 addresses so I need to say IPv6 router OSP of 1 now once you, once you give this command you can see here the message here it says OSP of v3 process ID 1 could not pick the router ID please configure the router ID manually now the one what's the meaning here is now by default whenever you configure OSP of v3 it will try to take the manual router ID in our scenario we did not configure any manual router ID up to now then it is going to try to take the highest IP v4 address of the loopback so which means if I give show IP interface brief there is no IPv4 configured in my network I don't have any IPv4 running in my network here so I just took uh, there is nothing you can see there is no single IP address there is no loopback there is no physical interface as well now, it will try to take the highest IP of the loopback in case if there is no loopback in that case it will try to take the highest IPv4 address of the physical interface now in my scenario these three things are not possible because I don't have a single IPv4 address running on my router now in that scenarios where it is not unable to pick the router ID then it will give a message a warning message saying that it is unable to pick the router ID please configure it manually that's what 
this message says here. So OSP v3 could not pick the router ID because of there is no IPv4 running in your network. So in this kind of scenarios, whenever you see that message, it becomes mandatory for you to define the router ID because without router ID, OSP of will not work. And then advertising the interfaces. What are the interfaces? As per my diagram, I need to go to router one, interface F0 by zero, IPv6 OSP of one, and then area 10. A similar way interface S1 by zero, IPv6 OSP of one, area zero, done. So if you want to verify show IPv6 protocols, very useful command. And you can see I got S1 by zero interface in area zero and F0 by zero interface in area 10 and there is no redistribution running here as of now. I'll go to router two and I will try to do the same thing. IPv6 unicast routing, IPv6 router OSP of one. You can see the same message here. So it becomes mandatory for me to manually configure the router ID and then interface S1 by zero IPv6 OSP of one area zero and interface F0 by zero IPv6 OSP of one area zero. Done. So I just configured on the router two both the both the interfaces in the same area that is area zero as for the diagram. So this is something very basic lab. Now even you can try some advanced OSP of labs just like we have in IP version four. You can try those things. If I try to verify show IPv6 protocols, I can see both the interfaces on an area zero. So the first thing whenever we configure OSPF, the first thing we'll try to verify the neighborship because if the neighborship is up, then only you can expect the routers to exchange the routing updates and communicate with each other. Now I can see the neighborship between router two, router one. You can see the output is exactly the same. The only the difference is we give IPv6 OSP of neighbor. And to verify the routing table, we need to go show IPv6 route OSP of. Now you can see the LAN interface of the router one is getting into my routing table as OI route. So whenever you see OI, O represents OSP of routes, OI represents OSP of inter area routes. And if I try to ping to the router one LAN interface, I can ping. If you want to trace, you can trace, it's the same thing. So this is the way we configure IP version six OSP of. Now, whenever you configure IP version six OSP of, the main thing we need to remember is the router ID. This is one, one thing we need to remember. The router ID has to be in IP version four format only. It's always the best practice to give the manual route ready. And then this command is more equivalent command, except this IPv6 is something we need to add before. And then instead of network commands, we use, we advertise, the, we enable the protocol under the interface. That's it. So whenever you enable the protocol under the interface, whatever the IPv6 addresses present on that interface will be advertised into OSP of whatever the area you mentioned. And again, when we are using the areas, you need to keep in mind area zero should be at the backbone. If you want area 10, area 20 to communicate with each other, they should go via area zero. And in case if there is something not there, then you need to use virtual links, etc. Everything is same like what we have done in IP version 4 OSPF.